Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I have a Zenpop Box unboxing video. So, so excited for this month. Um, I've seen a few sneak peeks online, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be an ultra colorful one. And yeah, it's one I remember seeing online. It said Tropical Dreams and there were mild liners and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this month to come. So this is the July box and let's just get right into it. Okay, so obviously first thing I'm going to notice is the mild liners because I'm so excited. I feel like when you get like a set of pens and it's not like just any random brand, but like a good quality brand like Zebra, like it makes me so happy to open these subscription boxes because I feel like it makes them really worth their money. So these are new colors with the mild liner highlighters. If you've been collecting the mild liner highlighters, you know that there's like a standard set of like 10, 13 different colors. And over the last couple of years, they've been introducing new colors each year. And these are the new ones for, I think it was 2018. I saw them. I'm not sure, but maybe they might be just promo photos, but yeah, definitely 2019. Like it was kind of like that crossover period. So I'm so excited. These are so cute and I love them. Okay, so next we have this little notepad. It is a Mochi Mochi Panda and you get two designs. Oh, this one's been a little bit bent up here in the corner, but you get this first design, a blue one. And then the second half is like a really horizontal pink design. Super cute. That's how it comes. Adorable. And then, oh, okay, we have some erasable pencils. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like multi colors in here. I think there's, oh, there's actually quite a few colors, but like a lot of different color LEDs in here. Oh, yeah, you can see it much easier here. 0.5 uni. So you guys know 0.5 is a little on the thicker side for me, but that's never stopped me from using a pencil before. So I think it goes with this. So I will, I'm not going to test out all the LEDs to be honest, because I don't want to like take them all out, use them and put them back in. But I will test whatever LEDs already in here and I'll test this pen at the end of the video as well. And we have some washi tape. Ooh, we've got three washi tape. I thought it was just one, but no, it's a pack of three and they're like the thin ones. So you've got green, red and blue. That's perfect. Great for lining stuff out. And then I think these are like mini mini post-it notes like I see them as mini post-it notes you don't really well you can write on them if you want but from what I can tell these are a little bit more on the transparent side so they're not like solid paper I'd almost like a little plasticky in the sense but it's still it's that soft plastic that you can write with ballpoint pen and it doesn't like rub off yeah so these are really great at like marking off dates especially in smaller planners you can see here they're great for the month um and it's a little booklet, so actually, you know what, I'm just going to open this because I think I probably will use this. It's so adorable. And I've been really trying to get more into other planners besides just the planners that I'm always using. So it's a good excuse. So yeah, it opens up kind of like booklet. If you take this top layer off, which I'll do after I take the thumbnail photo. I usually do the thumbnail photo just after I film this video, so I'll do it after. But you can like slot that in into the back of a planner and then you'll always have access to them. And just to be sure, yeah, they're kind of like a soft plasticky material. Then we have some stickers and they're flat, which means I'm actually going to be able to use these. I like can't use any of my raised stickers because I don't like the added bulk to my planners, but these are like transparent tropical toucan stickers. Man, it's making me wish summer was coming, like, because so many of the boxes I open are coming from countries in the northern hemisphere, so it follows their season, whereas right now we are, like, in winter in Australia. And then we have a letter set, so this is so cute. Oh, it's kind of, like, marine-themed, but with, like, a fox. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it's, like, literally marine, but then you have this, well, I think it's a fox on the envelope. That's so cute. And then the last one is, oh, it's like um, um, the same concept or the um, same um, pockets that I use to store stickers in. Only this is a little smaller. It's quite a bit smaller, but it does have the same dividers, different number of dividers that you can store stickers or little pieces of paper in if you want. I would show you mine. It is a little embarrassing. I think I showed this in a Kawaii box unboxing video recently, but yeah, this, I'm pretty sure this one came in a really old Zenpop box and you can see I've just packed it with stickers that I have on my table on the go, but it's kind of, it is quite a bit smaller. This is quite big and very full, <laughs> but 
So yeah, that is everything in this month's Zenpop box. I'm going to clear the table and things I want to test out the highlighters. I can show you how those highlighters swatch. Let's pull out all the colors. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the mild liners and if you aren't, um, I have a bit more of a detailed video on my channel like a couple months back where I did a comparison between the mild liners and the milk liners which are kind of like a uh, like a kind of a similar knockoff brand I guess I'm not even sure where they originated from but I found them online but they're very similar in price points so I don't know why they would be a knockoff in that sense because I feel like knockoffs are supposed to be cheaper but anyways so you have one end which is like a standard highlighter and then you have another end ooh, if I can open it which is kind of like a marker so it gives you some flexibility and the beauty about the mild liners is that they're essentially like highlighters but their color is really light and pastel in comparison to standard highlighters which tend to be very fluorescent so I think that was always the attraction at least the initial attraction but as they increase the color range I think it just gets more varied and it kind of starts to enter into that like marker slash texter um, territory where you get like a more wide range of fully saturated colors, pastel, lights, all sorts of different colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and test these out. Okay, so those are all the mild liners as you can see. I feel like the color, Ooh, let's see if I can get them aligned. Don't know if that lines pretty well oh yeah that's not too bad i feel like it's really accurate like i wasn't surprised i felt like it all kind of aligned really well with the expected colors they're very saturated i mean i'm a huge fan of the mild liners i have nothing bad to say about them i highly highly recommend that if you don't have mild liners and you love highlighting stuff coloring in then i fully recommend that you go out and purchase a set for yourself especially i was recently in america and i know that they are so affordable attainable and cheap especially at walmart so you can get like a whole set i think it's either walmart or target i couldn't remember but you can get like a set of 10 for very little <laughs> especially if you compare to what the prices would have been if they were in australia okay so the next pen i'm going to try is an actual pen it's a, oh, it's a zebra sarasa 0.4 all right so it's a bit different because a couple others like a recent one we got i think it was the couple a month or so ago was 0.5 this one it was sarasa zebra but a pikachu so this one is going to be light blue. I don't actually have a 0.4 because um, when I bought the set, I bought all 0.3. So this was definitely going to be new to me. Um, let's give it a shot. Yeah, as expected. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've zoomed in as much as I can, but here it is. If you've watched any of my previous videos, then you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the Zebra Sarasa line. Um, I think that they're beautiful gel pens. Um, they come in a range of thicknesses, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Like, honestly, haven't found one yet that I didn't like. I love them so much that I kind of pulled them out into my own, like, triple... I don't even know, multi-pen, triple multi-pen. I even customized another one here, which I use for my bullet journals. So, yeah. I don't know why this box just happens to have a lot of things that I agree with. So yeah, love this pen. So then the last one is actually a mechanical pencil. I think this already has lead in it. I think I can see lead. Um, but it does come with a pack of refills and then like multicolored refills, which is really cool. I don't actually have anything like this because I don't personally use multicolored pencils in my mechanical pencils. Don't know why I'm having trouble speaking. Um, but I've noticed that when Violet does a lot of her sketching for watercolors, she'll always use color pencils. She doesn't have to rub it out later. She can blend things out really easily because the watercolor just kind of blends in with the pencil colors. But also, more importantly, they act exactly like pencils anyway. So if she does make a mistake, she can just rub it off. But um, it just saves her a lot of time. So I never really thought of it that way before. But then I thought I didn't really want to go out and buy a whole bunch of color pencils. So this is very convenient to have it here. So let's give this one a shot. Um, I love the pencil. It's very, very light. I'm much bigger fan of light pencils than thick ones, as you guys know. So let's uh, let's do Zen Pop. Oh, wow. Okay, it is a colored lead already in there. It's a purple one. I'm kind of surprised that it writes a lot like a regular pencil. 
I, like, I don't know if that's because I've avoided using color lead for so long that I've kind of gone out of touch. And I feel like the last time I used color lead, it was from a company called Smiggle. Like, it was more for, like, children. So I've never used, like, how I would say, like, professional grade colored pencil lead. But this writes really nicely. Really smooth. Let's see if I can erase that. Let's see how easily it rubs out. No, it's literally just like a regular pencil. It rubs out really easily. Okay, great. Well, that is officially everything in this month's Zenpop box. Honestly, I feel like if there was ever a time, this one is definitely one I'd recommend purchasing. I Especially if you're like a pen fanatic like me. Like, I may not be huge on different notepads, sticky notes, and letters and stuff like that. But when it comes to pens, I am all about the pens. I'm obsessed with pens, highlighters, markers, everything. And this month has you covered. So yeah, I definitely highly recommend it if it's still available. I'll have the links down below if you want to check it out. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to internet.